And now, 32 Thoughts, presented by GMC. Here's Jeff Merrick and Elliot Friedman. Elliot, you had an extensive story on CBC, or sorry, rather on Sportsnet.ca uh, yesterday. Obviously, the NHLPA releasing the findings of a report into its handling of the Kyle Beach case. And I'm sure not only the report, but your story uh, serve as a catalyst. Where are we now? Well, I think there's two things that are going to come out of this that we should look for, Ron. First of all, you know, Confidentiality is important. The players want to know if they go to the player assistance program and they speak privately, it will stay privately. But I do think the League and the Players Association right now are working on clarifying reporting rules and also something like this particular case where someone wants action to be taken. So I do think that's going to happen. Second, and it's not related directly to the report, but I do think we're headed towards a place as soon as this summer where a succession plan for the executive director, Donald Fear, will become apparent. I can't say exactly what it will be, but I do think think, Ron, we're going to get there at least by the end of the summer. Do you want to add on your report, just your findings are there, your no, thoughts are there? people should read it. Yeah, I agree. It's good. It's great. Uh, Jeff, the Vancouver Canucks captain, Bo Horvat. Uh, yeah, as we all have eyes on the Vancouver Canucks, they don't play again until Monday against the Dallas Stars, but listen, the, the window, you know, staying open here for Vancouver, Vegas loss in regulation today to the Oilers. We'll see what happens with L.A. and Columbus later. So this was Thursday, uh, right leg injury for Bo Horvat, uh, originally uh, to be re evaluated in two weeks although Ron in a word today we expect that to be longer and suffice to say like we all know Bill Horvat if he's missing games Elliot this one is serious yeah no question about it, especially at this time of year meanwhile also this week Jeff a face-to-face -face meeting the first time in a long time that JP Barry who represents Philip Forsberg met face-to-face -face with the GM of the Predators David Poyle neither side would specifically comment so difficult to gauge if progress any progress was made but I do think it is significant that they met face to face for the first time in a mm. while. Okay, we have a few states of the game stories here. Let's start yeah. with the women's game, Jeff. Okay, the PWHPA. This coming off of Haley Salvian's report that the uh, the PW board voting to end all discussions about any type of collaboration with the Premier Hockey Federation. Now we've reported before that the PWHPA are going their own way, and now some details are starting to emerge as to what this league could look like. And here's what we've been able to find out. This will be Ron. A six-team league based both in Canada and the United States that will run starting in January 2023 through till April. 23 skaters per team, minimum salary of $55,000 plus benefits and a 32-game schedule. Now, I reached out to representatives of the PWHPA today and, you know, they're not confirming any of this. But, you know, based on all of our, you know, findings, all of our conversations, this is where it's headed with the PWHPA. Want to, uh, one more thing as well, look for a full rebrand. This thing will not be called the PWHPA. There will be a new name for this new league. And I'm sure you're hearing the PHF's also uh, planning to, to write publicly uh, about yes. the story as it's happening. Uh, but yeah, it just continues in limbo. How about World Junior sites? Anything? Uh, yeah, a couple of things here. So there are five finalists. Uh, Canada has agreed to host the World Junior Hockey Championships in 2023. And the five begin with a joint bid of Saskatoon and Regina. Also, there's a bid between the London squad and uh, Kitchener. Ottawa has a bid in as well. That's going to be shared between the 67s and the Senators, uh, Quebec City, along with Trois Rivières, and also Halifax and Moncton. Now, the bid process involves things like infrastructure, budget, hotels, volunteer coordination, revenue projection. And I want to focus on revenue. Now, one bid offered $6 million. I'm also told that one of the other bids, or a couple of the other bids, have come in even higher than that. I don't think, though, Ron, that Hockey Canada is concerned with the top line bid and just going to go for whoever promises the most money. What it sounds like they're looking for coming out of COVID is a full fan experience, maybe smaller buildings, but packed houses for the live event, for TV, for tablet, wherever you watch the games. And that's why many are might be looking at Halifax and Moncton as maybe being the lead dog in this one. But as of right now, no decision. But Hockey Canada, I believe, needs to have one by the end of the month to the IIHF. And World Championship just potential Canada coaches. Claude Julian, I think, is very possible for the head coach among considerations for his assistance. DJ Smith, who we're watching tonight in Ottawa. Andre Tournier, who we're going to watch later tonight in Calgary for Arizona. And also Michael Dick, potentially the Western Hockey League's Vancouver Giants head coach. Elliot Friedman, Jeff Merrick, and 32 thoughts. Alex Ovechkin has his 47th goal. He is now 24 back of Gordie Howe, 117 away from Wayne Gretzky. The panel on our three early games coming up next.